OntarioLevel.com here at the Flamborough Speedway, standing here with Gary Elliott, driver of the Quaker State car number 36. And Gary, coming into tonight, your son's leading the points. You're in the top 10 in the standings, but uh, David said he couldn't really enjoy it as much because you're not having the luck that you'd want out on the track this year. Well, I really appreciate that. Uh David has shook on his head many times saying, man, Dad, you're having a lot of bad luck this year. But the bad luck, unfortunately, there's all kinds of bad luck. There's engine trouble, there's accidents and things like that. So I haven't been having that type of bad luck. I've been getting in the starting great, like start fourth or start fifth. And by lap five, I'll be 12th or 14th because I'm in the slow lane. And, you know, it's just a lane that's not going, and everybody goes on the outside and freight trains you. So, anyway, you know what? I've been patient, and uh, I'm just hoping that it'll turn around. We are seventh in points, and we're only nine out of third. So, really, I'm, I'm very fortunate that I've that I'm able to be that close. I'd love to finish in the top three. I don't know if David told you he's leading the points, but I'm the owner of the car, so I'm leading yeah. the owner points. <laughs> he mentioned that, and he said it's hard as, as the driver to celebrate when the owner hasn't had a good night over in the other side of the pit area. So, uh, a rough go there, but uh, Flamborough, you talk about how the outside lane, you get freight trade on it. How tricky is this track here at Flamborough? It doesn't seem to have a whole lot of banking. No, you know what, it's I'll tell you what, this track probably these cars have outgrown this track and super uh, super late models just can't do anything here. It's pretty well follow the leader. Now I'm not saying guys won't run on the outside you'll get cars that are running side by side if the car on the outside is two or three tenths faster. But if we took, say for example, situations like that where we're running bumper to bumper or you know two cars that are like a slower car holding up a guy on the outside if you went to sunset speedway that would never happen because the fast cars would be gone or at least there'd be at least two really good lanes to race so john john i don't know if he's going to invest here but it would be great to see him widen this track and bank it. I think if he did, he would bring this track back to the status it had back in the 70s and 60s when it was the best racetrack in Ontario. I just think it needs to be upgraded and the only way to do that is through the, the racing surface. Now, we'll still race and uh, in spite of the fact that we got a really tight oval, I really think the guys this year have, have come up to the party by driving clean. I think this is the best. You guys are here tonight. Hopefully I haven't just jinxed it, but you know what? I think the driving this year for our home track guys have been awesome. The guys have been really good. I mean, there's a little bit of rubbing, but nothing too serious. So. You know what, we, we do good for this track, but this is a track, if you're turning 16 seconds, 16 and a half seconds and slower, it's probably going to be tighter, like more side by side or passing, outside passing. For us, it's hard because, you know, they just we need a little more room and we don't have it. Now, uh, racing here at Flamborough, you, you race around the province. You've been to several different tracks here in Ontario. But this track really seems to have a stout amount of competitors. It's a tough track because there's so many good cars. How do you compare this to some of the other tracks around Ontario? Well, <clears throat> like the only time I go somewhere else is if I'm going for a special event. And uh, sometimes Jason will go, sometimes Steve Laking will go, sometimes David goes. Uh, and Paul House hardly ever goes, and Ch uh, Sean Chenoweth hardly ever goes. Brad, Brad Corcoran is going more now. So it's almost like when they're there, those four are there, that we are racing like guys at home. But otherwise, I, I do agree with you. I think we've got some of the toughest drivers in Ontario right here. I mean, you've got some guys here that have got a few championships under their belt. David's leading the points. He's got four CVM championships. He's got the, working on a second late model. He, plus, he won the WWS. Paul House, uh, he's a champion. Jason Shaw's a champion. I believe that Jeff Stewart is. I'm not sure about Jeff, but he's he's if he's not a champion, he's got the most future wins of any, anybody. The really, really tough con competition. And the thing I like about the young kids this year is that they're learning. They're not wrecking. They're learning. So we've got some guys that are getting very fast very soon. And with the rules being virtually unchanged, and I and I attribute this to the crate motor because the crate motor is uh, nobody's allowed to go out and spend $35,000 on an engine. So well, m y you might, but 90% of the guys are on, on uh, crate motors, and that keeps us really close. It allows the guys to learn how to work on their car and make it faster through the chassis. So I think we, we do have a really good competitive field and get more kids coming. Now you're one of those teams that has a lot of great backers, a very sharp looking car, but it takes a lot of good sponsors to make it look that good. Who would you like to thank? I got to thank Quaker State. Quaker State's been with me for 38 years. I think that's the longest on Earth. I'm pretty sure there's uh, the space shuttle is out there checking to see if there's life on other planets. If they find life somewhere else, they might have a guy that's racing somewhere in Neptor somewhere that's been sponsored by some uh, speed of light company that's uh, been 35 years or maybe 50. But Quaker State's been with me so long, and I really appreciate their support. And you know, we we can't do enough for all our sponsors, and I appreciate every single one of our sponsors, everybody that comes on board with us. Then we do shows, and as you know, we were 
at Bream Baptist Church this week to do a thing for the kids, and it was uh, it was their uh, their week for Bible Vocational School, and we had the race car there, and I just I just love it. It doesn't matter whether it's a little kid or a seniors home where you can take the race car. Seniors home might not work. They they might say get that <laughs> shut that thing off. <laughs> but anyway, no, it's good. I I really appreciate all my sponsors, and uh, they do help me keep a keep our car looking good and and giving back everything we can. All right, that's the Ironman. Gary Elliott getting ready to go racing here at the Flamborough Speedway. I'm Greg Kelman for OntarioOval.com.